Hello dear viewers. It is useful to listen to our videos until the end. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Let's go to our topic. Another week, another new EV from a company no one's ever heard of. The twist this time is it's not from China. Era Automobili is based in Milan, the city in northern Italy that gave the world car makers like Alfa Romeo and Carrozzeria like Touring, each responsible for some of the most beautiful and desirable automobile ever built. And one look at the 2025 Era 01 all electric SUV reveals an EV with more than a dash of Milanese flair. The SUV, it has no model name, but since we know more vehicles are coming, we'll label it one inches for now has a cap forward profile that's even more extreme than that of the Mercedes-Benz Akesenic, a profile defined by a clean arc that stretches from the leading edge of the hood to the tip of the trunk. But unlike both Benzes, the pugnacious era doesn't resemble an aero blob. There's a tension in its surfacing and stance that makes it look much more muscular and athletic. From the awkwardly apparent B-pillar forward it's pure supercar, towards the rear it swoops like a GT. A mix of Alpha, Lambo, it all design, and Genesis. That's no surprise, perhaps, given the era, its pronounced air raw design team is headed by Italians Filippo Perini and Alessandro Serra who both worked at Alfa Romeo and Lamborghini. Serra designed the Reventon before moving to Idol Design and then to the European Design Studio for Genesis. The SUV is the first of two EVs under development at ERA. A sedan will be unveiled in February next year, and the company says first deliveries of both models will begin in the second half of 2025 less than three years from now. That sounds an impossible timeline given that at this stage the era SUV exists only as the full-scale model seen here. There are no running prototypes and no look at the interior just yet. The company doesn't have a chief engineer and hasn't even decided on the suppliers of key components such as e-motors and battery packs, nor even where its vehicles will be built. Like an iPhone. Company founder Hazin Nada remains unfazed. He says the auto industry's rapidly accelerating switch to electrification means there's an opportunity for a startup automaker unburdened by OEM legacy costs and investments to change the way cars are built. Aero will not construct a factory. It will not make any of the parts used in its vehicles and plans to outsource even the final assembly process to a third party, much like Fisker has done with its Ocean EV, which is being assembled alongside a bevy of other vehicle lines by Magna Steer in Austria. It's the Apple model of outsourcing production. Like Apple, which has all its products made by third parties, Aero will own the intellectual property behind its vehicles, not the means to produce them or their key components. We think that the electric powertrain is leading into that direction, says Nada. What categorizes or characterizes a vehicle is the design, the way the user interfaces with it, the emotions it expresses, and the functionalities it allows the end user. The other elements come from components that are becoming commodities. Nada, an Italian-born mathematician and physicist-turned-commodities trader, knows the traditional auto industry model requires eye-watering capital investments. Aside from the costs of designing, engineering and developing a new vehicle, establishing a car factory from the ground up easily costs at least $1.3 billion if not far more, and it takes two to three years before it's ready to produce a single vehicle. But Nada believes the Apple model will enable his auto company to put two vehicles on the market by late 2025 for a total capital expenditure of just $750 million, including all development costs. Stamped carbon and aluminum. Both the Era SUV and sedan will be built around a carbon fiber monocoque with aluminum subframes bolted front and rear to support the e-motors and suspension, and to act as crash structures. That's standard practice among supercars these days, but the key difference here is the Aero's monocoque will be made from sheet-molded carbon fiber, SMC basically carbon fiber that is shaped under pressure like stamped steel or aluminum rather than laid by hand over a form and cured in an autoclave. The body panels will also be SMC. The sub's body and white will thus weigh less than 400 pounds, says Nada, which will be instrumental in getting the vehicle to meeting its target weight of less than 4,400 pounds. As the exterior panels will arrive from suppliers fully painted, Nada says the total investment in the sub's body and white for tooling and painting will be just $60 million. And the same goes for the sedan. The SUV will be all-wheel drive, with either two or three e-motors, and a total system output of 750 to 800 horsepower. No decision has yet been made on who will supply the e-motors inverters and other pieces of the electric powertrain. 
However, Eris purchasing chief former Ferrari exec Stefano Mazzetti confirms the electrical architecture will be 800 volts and that the battery pack is likely to be a 120 kWh unit from a Chinese supplier. Low weight, good aerodynamics and a big battery should deliver in near 500 mile range Mazzetti says. The SUV has a 120.8-inch wheelbase, and the extreme cab-forward design means room aboard for four NBA players says design chief Filippo Paranai. Details of the interior are being kept under wraps until the new year however. First Fisker, now the future. From Preston Tucker to John DeLorean to Malcolm Bricklin, the history of the automobile is littered with entrepreneurs who dreamed of making it big in the auto business. This project is not a dreamer's project insists Hazim Nadek even though he's basically writing the checks to pay the bills. He's convinced there's an opportunity for a luxury EV with Italian design flair to grab a piece of the market before the traditional European luxury brands British, German and Italian complete their transition to EV powertrains. Is the iPhone model farming out production to a third party? The future of the auto industry Nada says era plans to sell up to 25,000 SUVs and 25,000 sedans a year each priced between $160,000 and $180,000 and that investors are showing interest in the idea with a recently opened initial funding round expected to raise $50 million by January. Beyond that there's plans for a second round of funding to be opened in late 2023 followed by an IPO in late 2024.